Hey guys. So I wanted to talk a little bit before I get into any gameplay about uh, this. I got this uh, from VR Cover. And there's two ones actually already installed in here in the Vive. And it is a, a replacement for the the factory foam insert that runs you know, between your your face and the Vive. This is made of memory foam um, and it has a water resistant finish, cover, skin, whatever you want to call it. Uh, a lot of people, myself included, tend to get pretty uh, sweaty, you know, doing doing some of the more active games in the Vive. And, uh, you know, if you have people over and you're sharing, um, it kind of sucks to hand off a sweaty Vive to someone else to put on their face or put one on that somebody else has all sweated up for you. So um, it came with two instead of two. Um, pretty handy it's easy to install you know the other one just velcros out and this one velcros in its place um it doesn't have the little plastic nub to help you line it up right here like the factory one does but not a big deal easy to put it in there and, and re reposition if you need to um it's a little like thicker a little more robust you 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 kind of feel it more in contact with your face but what you don't get, um, and what I had a problem with, and a lot of people will say that if you just your 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 these straps so that they go a little bit lower and move this down and, and redistribute the pressure, you can or redistribute the the weight. You can take some of the pressure off of your your cheekbones, the bridge of your nose, wherever it's hitting. Um, I tried a number of different things, you know, all the different things that that were recommended on on Reddit, on YouTube, on everything, and. Uh, I was never really able to get it all the way off my cheekbones. And so that was always a challenge for me, uh, especially starting out a session, was just getting it just just balanced, just right, so that uh, it was that, you know, visually it was, you know, in my sweet spot and I got the minimize the chromatic aberration and everything. And then so I, I wasn't so aware of it uh, pressing on my cheekbones. And, you know, and of course it's going to vary with everyone's face shape and whatnot. But these being made of memory foam, uh, kind of contour themselves to your face and well i i you know i'm getting the weight held somewhat in the same spots as the old foam because it's it's it shapes better it's uh it doesn't feel like a pressure point it's much more comfortable um in terms of the the fit on the vive uh how i have mine installed it, it you know it overhangs a little bit on the edge which I don't think actually matters. Uh, if you were a perfectionist, you could probably get it to, to you know, jimmy it around a little bit to get it to, uh, to fit on there just right. Um, as it as it is right now, I'm not getting any light in anywhere, um, and I have a lot of light on to record right now, and I'm I'm not getting any any pollution. Um, it it fits a little closer to my nose than the old one did, uh, but that's not. Uh, yeah, I don't know if that's good or bad or otherwise. I just I, it does feel a little bit different. Um, but I'm get you know I'm not getting any light in there either, uh, which is a big deal because if you have a big blinding spot in your in your vision or a big light spot, it uh, kind of takes you out of the immersion a little bit. So um, pretty happy with these. I ordered them uh, maybe a week ago, standard shipping, and and they showed up. Uh, and like I said, came with two. Pretty pleased. I went ahead and and, and went for it. Um, these are from from VR Cover. Uh, I think it's just vrcover.com. I'll, I'll put a link. Um, and they, you know, kind of got on the scene for making a cloth cover that would go over the, the default ones, both for the Oculus Rift and the HTC Vive. Um, and now I've come out with the replacement foams for for both of those, I believe. I, I think you can get them for the Rift too. I don't have a Rift. I didn't look into it that much, but um, yeah, real happy with it. Very comfortable. I, I my brother. Uh, actually was less tolerant of the face pressure than I was. Um, and I had, after installing this, I had him just put it on briefly and he was, he was kind of like, wow, that's, that's way better. So, um, yeah, yeah, pretty happy with that. Looking forward to putting it through some, uh, some hours of gaming and, uh, you know, some, some face sweat, see how that goes. <laughs> So uh, just a quick jump into a little game in development today. Um, game is called Quiver. Quiv, 
quiver. It's missing the E, so it's like quiv, VR, quiver. Get it? Uh, and the developer has done kind of a cool thing. Rather than put the game into early access where you, have, you know buy it and then uh, maybe the price goes up, maybe it doesn't, uh, you, you, know, you kind of play as things get added in. Rather than do that, he has done uh, a demo, which is kind of his developer release. So the demo is free. You can grab it, uh, download it, play it. Um, and then as he works on the game, he updates the demo to go along with it. And it's kind of a great way to get people in testing your game, uh, get some feedback and, and work out some kinks uh, without having to charge people before you're really ready to charge people. I, I think it's awesome. Um, and what he's got so far is already pretty polished. Um, from what I understand, a lot of the of, of the assets are, you know, um, prefab uh, Unity. I'm not, I, I don't know now if it uses Unity or or, or uh, the Unreal Engine. I think it's Unity, and I think it uses some of those store assets. Um, but they're good. My hands. Um, so yeah, so Quiver uh, is in some ways an expansion of the idea of. Um, Longbow, where you have uh, you have a, a, a keep you're defending, um, and there are enemies that come across and attack, and uh, you know you got to kill them before they kill your door. You are human tower defense, so to speak. So um, here's your hands. Here is our our bow and quiver. And you pick them up uh, using the, the grip buttons. It's a little it's a little clunky. Um, I usually end up picking up the wrong thing first. this with my left hand and then grip this guy and it will just stay by your waist there you click and grab pull an arrow out knock it draw shoot and you get you get a little bit it gives some pretty fluid motion to reach down pull an arrow up knock it and fire which is kind of cool it's a little uh, it's a little legolas feeling I guess it'd be a little different if it was on your shoulder, but you know, hip is is comfortable. Um, I'm not sure if you're getting this. I'm getting a little bit of uh, of black flicker. Um, I'm ninety percent sure right now that's because of Steam VR beta, not the game. Um, a lot of people were saying that they're getting a little bit of that black flicker. Uh, Regardless of what game they're in, in the current Steam beta, the the trade off is that this the the Steam VR beta seems to have better performance. So as of right now, as of August seventh, um, that's happening. Uh, some people have said that if you turn on your uh, your floor to always show the floor bounds, that that gets rid of the flickering. But that's obnoxious in its own reason. Then you have a big you know border on the ground instead of this nice board thing. So um, I'm not going to worry about it. Hopefully it doesn't bother anyone. Uh, it's maybe a little distracting, but it doesn't keep anything from working. Um, so anyway, back to the game. Um, dry arrows, knock fire. You can dip the tip in the fire and fire that out. Um, and, uh, you, you know, your arrows will set your target on fire like you would expect. Um, so, yeah, when you're ready to start, you just... Hit the little home button there. You can choose, you know, some options here. Um, there's multiplayer. Multiplayer is fantastic. Uh, the way it works, too, is you don't search out a server or anything like that because it's simple. And I'm not sure if this will change once the game is released. But uh, when you want to play with other people, you hit multiplayer. It drops you into a game that somebody else started um, up to four people. Um, and that is is, is great. Um, you can... Uh, you can actually move around the world to a few different places. So anywhere you have a blue target. So if I want to go up to the keep wall there, shoot an arrow, and we're teleported up there. Um, there's little torches in most of the spots, so you can still let your arrows on fire. It's a great, it's a great scene. It's really well, well polished. Want to go down there? Want to go up there? And this is a fun vantage. I like I like being up here. I'm um, there's one more all the way across. See if I can hit it. Yes. And so the paths so the enemies come down below, down this ramp, 
from down there out of that cave and down that ramp over there. So let's teleport back down. Can't see that one down there. Down over to here. And then down to there. And then we'll go ahead and start the game. So we go ahead and hit new siege. And then wave one. We're off to the races, so to speak. And they spawn kind of kind of back there, so it takes a second for him to first show up, but. And it starts off easy enough. They don't do any jumps and flips like the little two-dimensional guys in uh, Longbow. That's okay. They come from more directions. You don't have to draw the bow quite as far as you do in Longbow either. Which is nice, I think. Um, our little owl friend there. He, uh, he introduces you to some of the features of the game when you first fire it up. He doesn't like it if you shoot him. Right in the foot. It's just irritating. Oh! Gotta pay better attention. So this is a great little spot you can go to if you're not paying attention and they get to your door. So, we've taken a little bit of damage. Shouldn't let that happen. See them coming around the top up there. Don't see them anywhere else, so let's head up there. Shoot down a little bit. Some of them do have a little extra health. Oh, I think I came back down. And the helmets will block shots. Their weapons will block shots. One thing I'm not sure about is if you knock the weapon out of their hand, if they do less damage to the door or not. But it's an early, you know, it's an early build. And he's, uh, he's working on it. But, you know, reasonably frequent updates, so... And like I said, the this developmental build is is free to play. This is just a demo. I think I shot that guy in the foot too. So, wave five, you get the first of the the perks. Um, he's only got the first tier in. You can choose between these three once you get to wave five. Uh, this one, you can read the description. Uh, if you shoot the ground next to enemies, there's a chance they'll explode. This one, if you shoot them in the head, a little health thing will go back to your fort. And this one has a chance to freeze. Um, all of them are good since we've already taken some damage. I'll choose that one. Go back. Now I need to get back there, because while I was doing that, uh, these guys got over here. Let's see if we can get a headshot. And you can see the healing effect. It's counterproductive to <laughs> waste all that time while I talked about the healing effect, but, you know, hopefully we can get some more headshots in and heal that thing up a little bit. And again, you know, it's all sort of cumulative when you're playing in multiplayer. Let's head back here, Let's try to get a better angle. There's one. Another one. There you go. Got some heals on it. 
Not this guy. Oh. Well, I'll take a kill over nothing. Even if it wasn't a headshot. Get back down. It's when I don't pay attention that things go bad. Yeah, see these guys. Ah, see, and I wasn't paying attention. Well, looks like we didn't lose any ground or gain any ground. I gotta say that, uh, you know, in I know it's a sort of a it's it's in as a as a as a for lack of better option when all these you know games that have teleporting as a movement mechanic so you don't you know get sick and whatnot in VR. But I actually think, oh shoot, I actually think it's a lot of fun teleporting around. You get used to it. It's kind of like having a a superpower, like being a superhero. Wanted to get him in the head. Huh. So that's new. There were not birds the last time I played this game. These little guys are a little faster. Oh, it's a skull. Oh my gosh. So that's cool. Even since uh, two days ago, he's added a new, a new mob. And here we have our first boss, a wave 10. Get him on fire here. He is a pretty big target, so not not terribly difficult to hit. Down he goes. I believe he has a lot more health in multiplayer. Uh, the last time I played with four people, he got to our door, he pounded on our door, it was very stressful. And you get a little bit of a break after we have 10, um, and I think 20 and 30, like the, the, those those 10 waves, uh, those, you know, 10th, 20th, whatever waves, have a boss, a little break, and it gives you a chance to spend your perks. I'm assuming there'll be perks that, at, you know, the, the each the 10 levels, or maybe at 5 and 15. Or maybe I shouldn't make assumptions. Who knows? It's up to the developer. How does he want to do it? These guys are much harder to hit than the ones on the ground. So, just for the fun of it, I'll jump briefly into a multiplayer game. So you guys can see. Uh, it's, a lot, it's a lot more energetic with other people in there. Um, I will keep myself muted. and Hopefully nobody says anything crazy.
Yeah, I am still muted, so our friend here won't hear me talking to you guys. Just two of us in this game. It's it is more fun with with a full game of four people. But even here, you can see the the added benefit of having people in other positions. Oh, you let a bunch by here. Oh. <laughs> hmm, an arrow running about there. Also, since I've never been playing for a little while, and, uh, you know, they've kind of settled on my face a little bit, I can say the, uh, the replacement foams, still very comfortable. I'm, I'm very happy with them as a purchase. It has the same kind of tactile feedback, too, as Longbow, where as you draw, you can feel it. This, actually, the farther back you draw, the more of the sensation you get. It's nice. Oh, we got another, another player here. So anyway, that's Quiver. It's great fun. Anybody who has a Vive should check it out. I don't know if the support for touch, you know, is is coming. It's hard to say with, with, with touch support. A lot of these games, you know, that, that are in development for the Vive, uh, there's no reason they couldn't work, you know, fantastically with the uh, Oculus Rift, but... I don't think there's many people who have their hands on the uh, the touch to to you know to be able to do some some hands-on development. If you'll forget the uh, or forgive the pun, but uh, yeah, I'm hoping to see as time goes on equal grounds between the two the two headsets as much as possible. Um, if for the very least, just so I have more people to play with. So anyway, thanks guys for checking it out with me. We'll see you again soon. <laughs>